the worst situation of being, most uncomfortable situation of being. I've lived it a few times. It's called the public wedgie. <laughs> you never know when it's coming. You just be walking and you just all of a sudden, you know, it's right there. And it's right in the oh my god, how did it how did it get there? How did, how did it get so intrusive here? You can just see it, you can see people walking in the wall in front of you and all of a sudden they just okay. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. I had to the worst time. I think I was like talking to my mentor. I have a mentor and he was like telling me like like the keys of a successful life basically. And we're having this heart to heart talk. We're talking and he's talking about life. And I don't know what it is, I must have put on my wedge layers that day. You know, I mean every guy here, we know what we're getting into in the morning. You know, we go to our drawer and we basically are always down to two pairs of underwear. We got our normal underwear, and then we got these wedge layers here. I don't know, it's like the cut, they're like a European cut or something. We went through a phase where we were like buying our undies at H&M or something. They're like cashmere. I'm saying, we think to ourselves, hey, maybe they've changed. We've been out of rotation a while, we put these things on, and you're talking to your mentor, you're talking to your mentor, and it just kind of, it's there. Like, oh my god. But you can't use your head, so just talk talking about happiness, and you're like, yeah, tell me about the happiness thing. Tell me about that happiness thing. Yeah, I can do that. I can do it. Yeah, I know. I'm just stretching. I'm just stretching. It's just there, there's nothing you can do about it. It's a totally uncomfortable situation. I've been in a ton of uncomfortable situations at the movie theater. I'm not a big fan of the movies. We go a lot of it. I'm not a big fan of it. When you go with a girl that always want to get concessions. Concessions, concessions. She wants to have the experience. We, we gotta have the concessions. We gotta get like one large popcorn. And then we have to get just two boxes of candy and a fountain drink because there's something about the fountain drink. There's just something about the fountain. And I'm like, how about the uh, fountain and water up here? <laughs> That's some expensive stuff, you know, because if I take my wife, she knows now I tell my wife, we're going to the movies, I need to get Brent the big purse. <laughs> He's about to lose some smuggling in here. <laughs> so we go to Walmart. Walmart even has a section called Boxed Theater Treats. They should just say, Cheapskates. <laughs> well, I get stuff. I get stuff that looks like theater treats. I get a box of bananas. I get a bottle of water. Because well, I don't want anybody looking at me. I don't want people to think I'm a smuggler. You're in the movie. But there's always people down there. You can tell they're smugglers too. It would be like the most sentimental part of the movie. This guy's like dying under a cancer up here or something, and everybody's crying. This guy up here. here. <laughs> Let's do cracks over the Dr. Pepper. You look over, him and his girlfriend are like slapping the peanut butter and jellies together. <laughs> the lights, the lights dim. You know, you first gotta find a seat at the movie theater. And it's always hard to find a seat because you walk up your, your, your girlfriend or wife, she feels like, you gotta put the top, please. The top. Higher, please. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna look like this too. Higher, please. And as you go higher, there's always somebody back there as you try to take this seat. She's like, that one's mine. We moved down one. That's mine. <laughs> this one here? Yeah, mine. Take it. Mine. Take it. They put on a jacket, their sweater. You're like seven seats now. She's like, that's mine. I put a popcorn corner on that seat. These are all mine. So I'm like, you got the whole north up there? You got the whole northern region? I guess I'll go sit down at the bottom here. And I sit down by a guy. Okay, he's a bigger guy. Problem is, he got a nose whistle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just want to pinch his nose with a breather. Just got like Thomas the train next to me over here. And the lights dim, the lights dim, and there's always, there's probably some of you in here. You always got to be a friend. The lights dim, and they're always going to be like, oh my god, we're going to die. Oh, or something, something stupid, something that's been around forever. And you got some like 80 year old who doesn't like you know, teenagers, and he's always like, you know, why are you down over there? Kid, kid looks bad and just yells out, you know, shut up, old man. <laughs> this 
it has like a whole you know, security that's against security. And they go against security. Security never is there to actually handle security. Security comes into a, a packed theater and they always got to move everybody in. It's the packed show tonight. We're going to move everybody towards the center place. Got to save room. Security is like a 15 year old sophomore who's going to bow tie on. I feel bad at this guy because he gets booed. He gets booed at his job. He gets home from like his first night of work. And mom's like, well, how was it going? I got <laughs> so it wasn't very good. And the lights dim, but there's something that happens that kind of brings us all together. And I think you know what it is, old people, young people, there's a lot of hostility in the movie theater. But there's something that happens that brings us all together. So if you know it, please sing along, and please know your cue. It goes something like this. <laughs>
and I'm like in the Brazier section. <laughs> Whatever it takes to go with this guy, he's gonna save my life. I didn't know how to do CPR, he's like pushing on my stomach and blowing raspberries at my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he gave him the job. <laughs> Calling for help, and she's hot. <laughs> just like do a double pipe dive in. You swim over her, and you get her, and you let me know you got her. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 I'm struggling then. I don't even need a red light. I'm like, no, 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 no. I got you. I got you needing the CPR thing.
finally, that's good. So you just kind of go around and dance moves. You have good old time. Promise, promise me that you will dance at prom, that you will use your face, that you will use your legs, and do what your body tells you to do. I'm so excited for prom. All your money here tonight goes to prom. I thank you guys for coming out tonight. Anyway, dance your way out of here, you're dismissed. I'll see you Monday morning.